Welcome one and all to my YouTube channel, Techno Babble. I am the Techno Babbler here with our exploratory eco lifestyle let's play series following the lives. Live. Life? Lives. Life? Uh, let's go with following Mac Dotson's life. <laughs> you guys, I have, I'm feeling a little bit rusty. I took the weekend off and now we are back into gameplay and I'll be honest with you, I missed my Sims. I missed their lives. I missed what's going on. And as you can see, so much has happened. So I told you in the last episode, uh, that he got rid of his fence and he had an idea for a fencing that he wanted to do. So he actually built this fence at a fraction of the cost and he was able to recycle and get quite Quite a lot of money for his uh, scrap fencing that he had and you see he's got kind of a, something new going on here so we took out some trees we used some of that we used as much lumber of that of, some of that lumber as we could uh, and we used some reclaimed lumber to make the fence uh, but we took out all of the old shrubs and we're really he's working on cleaning the place up and making it something special so what you see here is a wind turbine now he did not just get this so he has made some money for himself, and when he was last at the makerspace, he was talking to his new friend, Fletcher, I believe is his name. Let me double check. Uh, Cameron Fletcher, yeah. And Cameron was, he is currently a student at Foxbury, and he was talking to him about the eco imp imprint that is going on here uh, in this lovely town. Of Port Promise and he was talking to him about like they're wanting to do some research on it and they were really wanting to find out what they could do to help sort of like get it out of the industrial area uh, industrial footprint and get it back to what it used to be a long time ago it was green it was very like healthy and vibrant and Mac remembers those days but he also remembers watching the decline anyway Fletcher or Cameron uh, offered uh, to supply one of these if he could put down some uh, down payment on it to get it here uh, so that we could see if it would actually help with the eco uh, the ecology of the land so he went ahead and agreed to it and he got this uh, lovely little um, what do we call this uh, what do you call these things windmill and because he had some money in his pocket he also got some of these generators so Again, this is all through the Foxbury Institute, so he put a little bit of money down to get some of this stuff, and that's how we had it. But if you guys remember, forever ago, we actually collected biofuel from the insects, so we're going to go ahead and do that, because I don't know what that means, because we are living off the grid, so I'm hoping that means we'll actually be able to use some electrical appliances. Oh, poor Duke, you need some food we'll get to you duke i promise uh anyway so he's just kind of tending to his garden a little bit this morning we are making decent money we're at 1700 dollars right now simoleons uh we need to weed that plant and we need to weed that plant and we probably need to check on oh they need some termite stuff and we just planted some grapes which is awesome we need to water that uh, do we have something that we can actually fertilize with? Let's see. Oh, we can fertilize with compost? That's cool. Let's fertilize with compost. Oh, my thing is full. Oh, uh, wait, wait. I want to see what happens when he does this. Okay, so we are adding in the bug fuel right now. Do we have to turn it on? Okay, so it's now on, I guess? Industrial eco footprint. Okay, so we can press the red danger button, stop power generator. Uh, we don't need to add any fuel right now, and we can upgrade we can add a green filter. So it says lowers the generator's impact on the street's eco footprint. This upgrade, all right, maybe we'll do that too, but I think we need to like eat something as well. It looks like our hunger is a little low. We've got a quite a lot of few things going, quite a lot of few. We got quite a few things going on in this episode. Uh, and it is almost the end of the day, which is killing me. Wait, 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 did I just see our eco footprint? Oh, I don't realize you saw that down there. Oh, looks like we're, are we going toward the green? I can't tell if how it's filling up. It's very dark green there. Um, I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, I fabricated something cool for you last weekend because I think you're pretty cool. Can I come show it to you? Uh, yeah, how do I tell you yes? Where are you? Oh, there you are right there. Uh, this is Tina Tinkerer. Tina Tinker, but I call her 
Tinkerer. Uh, yeah, invite her in. Come and invite her in. What are we doing? Let's uh, skip that for a second. Cameron Fletcher is wondering if you want to go over to his house and hang out. Oh, see, he's becoming fast friends with Cameron Fletcher. But Cameron, we've got quite a lot of few things to do today, including getting this garden going. And now we're going to go talk to Tina and see what's going on with her. I really, really miss diving and dumpsters. So I really want to do some more diving and dumpsters today. And I think tomorrow is Friday. Is and I think he's going to invite... Uh, I think he's going to go on a date. I think we are going to ask... Uh, our old pal on a date, Alice. We're going to ask her on a date on Friday, I'm thinking. Uh, let's see. We need to give craft a gift. No, we don't have any craft a gift. Uh, enthuse about and outdoors. Oh, we're going to receive a gift. Uh, are we friends with her? Oh, yeah, we're, like, super friends with her. Let's see what she gave us. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. So excited. All right, let's see what we got from the lovely Tina Tinker. Did it tell us what we got? Uh, maybe it did, but I can't see it because I was taking pictures. One Madame Zoe voodoo doll. You made a voodoo doll? You can make voodoo dolls? That's really weird. And it's also worth 950 simoleons. And, oh, that's right. We made some fizzy honey juice. <gasps> Should we give her some fizzy? How much can we sell it for? 84 simoleons. I think, you know what? I think... We are going to give her a gift. We're going to brighten her day. And then we are going to... I just saw it a second ago. Give Craft a gift. Let's give her... Oh, could we just give her a dipped candle maybe? We could totally just give her a dipped candle. Uh, let's give her some fizzy honey juice though. Or honey. Fizzy honey. Fizzy honey. Because we want to definitely return the favor. Uh, so he is needing to have some buku fun. And so it also looks like Duke needs to have some fun too. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we are going to scratch favorite spot. Maybe can we like play a game with him? We definitely need to like play with him. Let's do pet care. Uh, let's actually go on a walk. Let's just go on a short walk. I think that will increase his fun as well as give him a little exercise, which I think he's all about. I think he does want to stay fit, uh, and stay in shape. Let's see. What do we, for me? Thank you, Mac. Hey, you might be able to use this. Oh, we got one brick red dye. Well, that's fun. All right. Well, I'm going to let him take the, take Duke on a walk. I'm just really excited about his little lot. He's trying, like you guys see this, he like made a little green area for his bugs and... Can we collect anything yet? Collect grub meal? Not yet. What does it say? Uh, they're not ready yet. And what about you? Not ready yet. Uh, what's weird is it says that this is ready for collection. So I'm wondering if that's bugged or not. This one says not ready. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to let him take a walk and then we are going to figure that out. And hope then, you know what? We are going to be diving in a dumpster. I can see a dumpster right there and I am ready to dive into it because I want to dive for some deals. You know what, Duke? I think that was a good enough walk. I hope you, <laughs> you like that short little walk. It definitely got our fun super up. And I just, I've missed diving for deals in the dumpsters. I feel like it's been so long since we've done it. And you know he's pretty much loving the maker space right now. Uh, he is crafting things. He started doing some fizzy juicing. We're making some candles. We were playing with a fabricator. I definitely think I want to do that again. Uh, what do we get? Macbound. Tall order vintage counter island in the dumpster, but it may be in question one condition. That's okay. We can totally recycle it if we don't need it. I really want him to find something cool. I've been watching some other Let's Plays, and people are finding, like, amazing stuff in these dumpsters. Look at Duke. He's like, what are you doing, Mac? I've also added a few more people here to the world because I was looking for just some variety. I wanted something different. Uh, he is super stinky. Let's go ahead and I really... Let's go ahead and... Uh, I think we're going to leash him up, and then we're going to go for another little walk over to another dumpster. So we'll be back at another dumpster. All right, you guys, we are over here at the caboose, and we are trying to get Duke to do his business somewhere around here. Uh, maybe we can just encourage him to do his business. And while he's doing that, we are going to die for some deals oh, because Lord I Sonic. want some stuff. I know you stink. We're going to head back <laughs> home, and hopefully you can, like... Clean yourself back up a little bit. Hopefully we've collected some water. He is so stinky. The Forever Fresh would be so helpful. And, and I really want to get his fabrication skill up this episode too, if at all possible. Uh, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Uh, his energy is so low. I just do not know if it's even going to be possible. Oh man, there's just not anything. He's a little tired. Can we take a nap in the dumpster? You know what? Go for it. Mac, just embrace that dumpster life. Dive in head first. And... <laughs> Take a snooze in the dumpster. I think it's hilarious. 
I he's totally close enough to home that he could go sleep on his cot, but he no shame, guys, no shame. Uh, he's tired. He was out here doing some dive, dumpster diving, and he just needs a little snooze. So we're gonna let him have a little snooze. Then we will maybe head to the maker space because we might get a better water flow there. Let's just be honest. Oh my gosh, you guys! I just realized that this is like bending in and out as he sleeps. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> That's some weak metal right there. All right, maybe it's some heavy snoring. We will be right back after he has a little snooze. All right, so you guys see we are back at our favorite makerspace. We washed up a little bit in the sink over here, and then we're grabbing a little hot buttered popcorn snack while we talk to Lily Fang. Really, Lily Fang? I added all these new people, and all I'm getting is you. Come on now, Lily. I would love it if we had some other people around here. Anyway, I don't know why. I know in the last episode, we definitely chatted with the client, and I'm pretty sure we created a rug. So, I'm not sure if I maybe picked up another gig or not. That's possible, but it's due Sunday. So, I figure while he's here, he should go upstairs, chat with the client, and sorry, I'm making the camera go everywhere, and uh, get that fabricated and hopefully work on his fabrication skill and get that up as well so that we can achieve this goal. So, I don't think I'm going to just sit here and have him do that on camera. Because I really want to get to Friday and his date with Alice. And I hope you guys do too. So I'm going to just have him do that off camera. And then we will start our fresh Friday morning off with planning our day and date. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was a rough night. So we were at the Makerspace for quite some time. And we just got too tired to even do anything. So we started a rug. We did chat with our client. I believe that one stuck. Uh, but we need to still create a rug, and I'm hoping it will still be there. And we also put our grapes in the fizzer and started the fizzing process. And I'm really curious to see if it continues to fizz av after we left. Like, that would be awesome if we could set stuff in there and completely leave the lot. Uh, otherwise, we might need to be purchasing some stuff for here. Because, honestly, I'm liking that place as a makerspace. And I think Mac is going to keep voting for it to be a makerspace because it's really benefiting him because he doesn't have to buy all that super expensive equipment now we do have an we can upgrade this and i think what we should upgrade it to with the green filter let's see what else does it say uh improvement efficiency unbreakable so i think we will definitely do that this morning also he's got quite a lot of gardening to tend to because his soybeans are getting super weedy so we're gonna need to weed all that we're gonna collect all of our soy wax we're probably gonna need an app and then i need to remember how do you like schedule a date he has too many things queued up so i can't even get him on his phone you know what i don't even think his phone works while he's here because he's off the grid so we might have to like go to the makerspace to invite uh alice on our date or maybe we could just go to the caboose and invite her that seems like more something like he'd do he'd be down there and he'd maybe have enough drink uh and then invite alice to join him there at the uh caboose so i'm gonna let him just kind of tend to his garden uh showering is thinking for literally ever in the shower which drives me crazy i know we could probably upgrade it but i can't see anything right now so i'm gonna let him tend to his gardening and then we're probably gonna let's see can we upgrade this upgrade a uh, water recycler using ego parts that's cool upgrade there's so many cool things we can do marcus flex would you like to come over and hang out uh no you can't come and hang out marcus flex we do not need you to hang out uh since his gardening is high enough though oh my gosh Ro oh my gosh his mom's calling we've been thinking about trying for a baby lately do you think we should do it we want to but we're not sure it's a huge responsibility what do you think oh my gosh you guys rose is an elder sim i can't can she still have a baby is that even a thing? Are you sure you're ready for that? You, you, a parent? Yes, she's, you know what? She is a family person. Would she go for a baby? I don't think so. I don't know. Oh, it makes me nervous, you guys. I wish she could adopt a baby. I totally could see her adopting a kid. Uh, let's say, you know what, mom? Try for that baby. If you're feeling up to it, she goes, all right, well, I think yes, we'll do it. Thanks for the advice. We're having a baby. That's crazy. He's going to have another sibling. Okay, I'm going to let him tend to this garden, and I can tell you right now that this episode is going to run a little bit longer than usual because I am having so much fun, and I've missed playing this family while I was away for the weekend. So we will return and keep things rather interesting. 
All right, you guys, you may notice we are not in Evergreen Harbor right now. We just got done with our gardening and taking care of the garden. We've literally been in the garden almost all day. It's crazy. Uh, tending to it, intending to do. And we got a call from Alice Gerber inviting us to the Spice Festival. And I thought, you know what? I think that would be a perfect place to go to. She's, you know, she's kind of grown out of the Evergreen Harbor. Uh, world she's definitely like exploring other places other than evergreen harbor and mac really hadn't left in like a long time so she said let's go into the city let's get out of evergreen let's get out of port promise uh and let's go to the city because the spice festival is going on and i think you might enjoy checking out some of the plants there as well as getting some of the free food uh and but you guys can see he's making a quite a good bit of money right now we are at two thousand simoleons and i think i said we need to be three thousand before we can start renovating the lot uh so we are definitely going to be doing that and what's going on here oh she seems upset about something uh we're gonna brighten her day and let's see what's going on we're gonna talk we're always talking about fishing with her because you know that's something they used to do they used to go camping they used to go fishing they used to do all that sort of stuff together uh so they are always talking about that and let's see let's um let's discuss her fitness technique say hey you look really good alice but other than that let's come over to the spice festival because i will be curious to see how our boy Mac does with the spicy uh, curry challenge because I can't imagine he is used to eating spicy food. But the other thing is, is look at all of these delicious, yummy, tasty, fresh plants that we can harvest from. Uh, and we are definitely going to be harvesting everything because uh, he would totally he's getting he's getting a little bit of a green thumb he's pretty excited about like growing his own stuff he's got soybeans right now he planted some grapes he's really excited about sage because he's learned from um cameron that it's uh, actually really environment environmentally friendly and is really good for the soil to have sage plants growing so he's really excited about that like I said, it's not that he's necessarily trying to become a super eco, but he is aware of like his footprint. He's aware of what's been going on, especially as he's been talking to Alice even more so because she's a little bit more uh, on the eco eco side. Let's see how he does, you guys. You think he's going to like burn his mouth or you think he's going to be like, oh yeah, this is great. Let's see. Uh, let's zoom in. I don't want to miss this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought, he, I thought he was about to belch a fire. Maybe, he's, maybe he can handle the spicy food. Maybe his mom, maybe Rose cooks spicy things all the time. He seems to be enjoying it right now. I thought for certain we were going to have him, like, burst into flames. What's happening? Nope. He's still doing well. All right. Well, I'm going to let... Oh, here we go. Here we go, you guys. Oh, did you guys see it? I totally was trying to get a screenshot. Totally missed it, though. Well, let's see what it says. Uh, Burnt tongue. Well, he definitely was not used to it. Uh, but he enjoyed it, and he'll, he'll keep trying spicy foods and keep trying new things. Uh, but you know what? He just wanted to hang out with his, uh, pal Alice, and I don't even know where she's gone off to, but he's also a little obsessed with these plants. So he's definitely gonna harvest those plants, and then let's see if we can find Alice over here. Can we do anything together? Alice, I don't even know where you went. You invited us to this festival, and then you, like, did you ditch us? Like, where'd you go? Where did you... Alice, where are you? Uh, I guess we'll have them sit here together and then maybe they'll both be over there. Uh, I think that they were, he just wanted to, he literally spent all day in the garden and he was so excited to just go to the caboose, but you know, Al, he doesn't want to disappoint Alice. So they came here and I think they're gonna kind of like work on their relationship a little bit. I think he's feeling, uh, oh, totally make a move. Oh my gosh, too soon, but totally make a move. He's feeling kind of confident or he's feeling inspired. Let's see what happens. Oh, she, got up and left i guess she's getting some food all right well i'm gonna let them have their little date here i'm sort of excited to see what happens with their little relationship uh i definitely don't want to cut her out of getting food though so after she gets some food we'll have more conversation all right she just got up to take a look and see what they were cooking over there because she said it smelled so good so we are going to try to find out if she's in fact in a relationship or not uh, because I think we tried to do it in like, whoops, in the last episode, but we did not find out. So they're just discussing interest. I want to keep working on their relationship and see what's going on. Uh, I think she is definitely kind of into him. Like this, it's like this little, little flame keeps flickering and getting a little bit bigger and then goes down a little bit. But you know, she's at university now. Uh, I think we can actually ask her about her degree, can't we? Um... 
Let's see if we can ask her about her degree and find out what her degree's in. See, like that, that, it, every time they get back together, it seems like that little romance bar goes up. Oh, we have learned that Alice is single. All right. Mac has learned that Alice is majoring at, in economics at the Foxbury Institute. Well, all right. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to just let them sort of have a wonderful evening out together here at the Spice Festival. Uh, I definitely will head back to Home Lot off camera and try to get his stuff fabricated before Sunday so that he can complete his goal. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I am having an absolute blast playing it and recording and telling their story or sharing the story with you guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think? You guys think these two are going to hit it off? Or do you think it's just like a little a little romance that... Uh, I'm telling you, look at that look though. I think he's pretty much into her. I think he's thinking about her more than he's thinking about those soy plants. Which is what I'm thinking about. Also, those bug boxes. Why is their health declining? Please tell me down below in the comments how to help that get the bugs uh, health back up if you know. Alright, I'm going to wrap up the episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it and the series. And until next time, Tomalagi!